back in the car. And you know how I've talked about that uh, what I really want is something with a uh, 158 inch wheelbase. And um, camera's a little crooked, I think. Oh well, you'll live. And uh, yeah, that I've been looking at a Safari Trek. And uh, I've been uh, following a guy on uh, YouTube called uh, Class A Living. Uh -huh. And he has got this uh, 1989 Winnebago Super Chief. I think he's got the 32-foot uh, the model, uh, or the, yeah, the longest one they made. They made three different lengths of models. Um, what I'm going to look at is uh, a 1988 Super Chief, which is basically the same model he has, only shorter, a little less room. And it has the 158 inch wheelbase. Um, so, uh, hey Daisy, how you doing? Doggy ride. And uh, so, I've, <laughs> yeah, they only live, you know, 15, 20 miles down the road. So I thought, you know, what the hell? Um, A, let's just go look at it. Um, I, the price is just ridiculous, which makes me think that the thing is just a piece of crap that needs everything. But uh, so far in the video, in the video, they have an online ad. They don't even have it listed in the RV section of the marketplace. Um, if they don't sell it, or if I don't buy it, rather, I'll give them whatever pictures I take today. And um, if you look over, uh, if you look over uh, here, what I've got there is the uh, a bunch of spec sheets and other stuff about that model, which uh, I found. Luckily, and oh man, I'm all out of I'm all out of kilter, man. I'm all tilted to the left. You can't really tell it because you're in the car. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go down and see Todd and Betsy and uh, see what we can find out about this rig. Uh, it's um, a big Chevy 454 engine. It's got 54,000 miles on it. They say it needs two tires. Uh, not that they don't. Not that they're no good. They're just old. All right, well, yeah, they're no good, but they they're holding air. Um, they're ready to take it for a test drive. Um, not that I want to go on a test drive with it yet, but uh, and the amount of money they're asking for it is just stupid low. Um, which again makes me think there are things wrong with it. I happen to know some of the family, and I kind I know what they paid for it. So uh, anyway, I got about a 15-20 minute ride ahead of us, so I'm gonna just uh, shut off now. And I think the next time you. Uh, we come back up I will be there and have asked for permission to film and all that so we'll see you in a bit cool thing I'll get the hell out of it. yeah yeah I'm assuming you don't want to be involved in it so I'm assuming so I mean because part of my plan is that But it only does it once. Yeah. So that's probably the timing off by just a I fraction know. of a turn. Which it could be, you could probably remedy that with the distributor. I don't know. To, to, a lot of times you could turn it on yeah. these, these old ones. Part of, the, part of the problem with this is that I've been studying these things for four months, reading everything I can, watching videos. Yeah. Um, have five to ten thousand with you when you head off the road because really? you will your alternator, uh, axle, transaxle freezes up, transmission problem. <laughs> That's good know, to know. <laughs> refrigerator, alternator, water pump, holding tank leaks, you know, electrical this doesn't work, generator breaks down, you know, it's just yeah. this is a boat on wheels. Wow. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. So kind of a, a, a set of wheels that you continue to pour money into. So that's the problem with them, but once they get to a certain age, 
they are what they are. I mean, I've seen people this summer. I've seen some old campers on the road, and it seems to be. A yeah, that's pretty much the only bad spot you have is right there. Kind of really the only pucker. There's a little. No, she's got a little way to her. Yeah, yeah, but that's. There's no like you could put your foot through it or something. No, no, that's I've solid. seen the guy that's doing the video. His is like. Really. What a mess. Oh, so these are stand downs for the, the awning. Yeah, I've never rolled that one up. The only awning I had out was the big one. Yeah. Over there, so. Do you have the mechanical bits for this? No. It didn't come with it? No. There's a junkyard in Indiana. Just, Probably just has a hundred of these damn things. But you, can, you can video. Or only yeah, can yeah, yeah. Let me turn this thing on. Uh. Oh, uh, hey, hang on a second. I got some paperwork that you might want to look at. Stay. Stay. Last night I finally figured out which model this is, which is it's the 27RQ. Is it 27? Yeah, and the reason that I know this is that um, because of the internal layout, you've got the, the, uh, uh, the sink, the stove, and then immediately the shower. The 32-footer, or the next stop, one up, has the stink, the stink, the sink, the stove, a wardrobe the shower huh. so it's a little bit longer but yeah because this is uh, feet, so one two right. three four five six seven eight times three so you know a little overhang 27 theoretically I almost can't get far enough away from this thing this is uh, future Jason um, I've taken the video and kind of cut it in half and give me some space to talk. Uh, Super Chief, basically, it's old, but it's in decent shape. Um, I didn't get a picture, but there are two tires where the sidewalls are just rotted right out. Um, it would need tires immediately. Um, as you saw, it ran. Um, it sounded okay. Not a lot of buckling in the side of this. I was impressed with that. Um, the one that that guy was talking about, uh, Class A living, his is just caddywomped all down the side buckled really bad this one's sun faded and worn but it doesn't really look you know that beat up um sorry for the staggery video I'll, I'll see if that gets any better um so you know it's the it's the 158 wheelbase a huge overhang on this um which is why you know, it's another reason I want a shorter 26-foot model versus the, uh, this thing is uh, almost 30 foot long. Um, it's got no, I didn't see any rust underneath it at all. And uh, the exhaust system looked clean, um, a little noisy up front, but, um, and again, really sun faded, really old. Uh, that awning's there, but you could probably, you know, and, and look at the sidewall, no buckles in it really, um, um, fairly clean. A little problem on that seam right there in front of you, but I think that's that's probably fixable. Um, you know, screen screen door is there. Um, it's you know maybe a little beat up in places, but it again it's there um, and it's functional. Um, this thing looks like it wasn't really used a ton. Um, it's it's so so classic uh, old RV inside. Um, it's kind of too dark in here. I didn't bring any extra lighting with me. Um, note that it does have a curtain that goes all the way around to uh, block off the living space. So that was interesting. Um, windscreen's in good shape. Actually, I was trying to point the camera down here, to, uh, and I figured that out eventually. Um, again, still, you know. Um, so what did it say? 54,000? Uh, 58,000 miles on it. Um, and it's... It's not what I'm looking for, <laughs> but it was worth going down to look at it, um, to get a sense of what it feels like. Uh, this had ample storage in it, cabinets that you can't see, uh, TV that isn't there that you can't see, <laughs> and, uh, you know, this was, uh, this was actually a good experience for me just to go look at an RV. Um, my filming technique needs a little help. Would help to have a wide angle lens for sure, um. The shower unit there across from the bathroom. Um, squeeze a queen bed in the back here. There's really not much room other than the bed. 
Um, I mean, you can walk around the edges, but uh, it's tight back here. And again, this is another reason why I want to trek is because all this space, all that bedroom space back there is just a waste. Um, because you're not in it most of the time. And it takes up all this room. A uh, decent sized little bathroom with the toilet. Uh, an accordion folding door there to separate the living space from the bathroom, which, you know, eh. Headliners coming down, which, you know, again, this thing is 1988. It's it's ancient, so, you know, no wonder. Um, but it was it was fun to go look at it. Uh, I gave uh, the sellers the uh, information. It was back up for sale again um, in the spring, and um, I think it sold, and it's gone to a new home at this point. But uh, So it was worth a look, you know. It was worth a look. Thanks for watching the Step 8 video. Join me next week when things get a little bit fishy. <laughs> hey, get it? Fishy. <laughs> fishy. Let me drive, let me drive.